Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. Today I'm coming to you with a little envelope, kind of a, um, a, a cover, what is it, a front flip with a tuck space here or here, I haven't decided yet, and then this on the back. So let's get going. We're going to do this together because it's been a little bit of a rough go. So I'm just going to create with you and hopefully... Um, all will go well. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and ink this um, this edge up, these edges up really quick. I forgot to do that. It's been a rough creating day. Just been a little bit off. I've tried a few things and nothing's really going very well. So I don't know if I just need to give myself a break. But uh, in the studio is where I heal. In the studio is where I decompress. And so I'm just going to push through and um, until I find something that, that I'm happy with. So we've got that piece. Let's go ahead and ink this one. And hopefully this will make more sense to both of us, all of us, <laughs> as we move along. Um, I wanted to create this envelope and then I also want to create some, some tabs. For the journal, so we're going to try to do that together today. There we go. So that's it. So the idea is I've got this like craft envelope. I did cut the top off or the flap off because I don't need it. And what I want to do is have this be a right way flipping, right, right flip, right flip this way. So that we've got some writing space in here and we've got writing space here. I may put some paper here, I'm not sure, haven't quite decided, but let's go ahead and start with that and then we can go on from there. I hope you guys are doing well. It's been, a, it's been an interesting day. I went and saw a dear friend today and um, I haven't seen in a while who has just recently been diagnosed with a brain tumor and is having surgery um, here soon. And uh, yeah, somebody that I haven't seen in a while and it's just a hard thing. I'm really trying to stay, you know, upbeat and positive. Uh, she's positive, but she's elderly. Um, and so just praying that everything goes well. There's no complications. Um, so yeah, it's a bummer. <laughs> so we're going to work on the construction here, um, uh, first, and then we'll, um, we'll work on the tucks and pockets and things we want to make. So this is one of those funky prints. I don't know what happened here at all, but it happened. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn this this way. Let's see which way is up. I don't know if I can tell by the words. I think it's this way. So we're going to go ahead and glue this on the back. I'm just trying to think about um, what I want to have open. I think I want to seal the top and have it be a side tuck. So let's go ahead and put this on first and then we will seal the top of the envelope and, um, and then we'll go from there. Oh, I keep saying that, don't I? Go from there. Maybe it's a filler. I'm not sure. The, the bonus was, as my husband tried, well, he did make some carrot soup from everything from our garden. So it was really kind of cool. It wasn't my favorite thing, but it was definitely um, tasty and, um, and it, was, it was nice for him to do that. So, so it was nice. And then we played a game of Scrabble. So that was, that was fun. I needed that. So it was good. Just a different day. You know, some days are just like that, aren't they? So, it's just, I'm tired of bad news. How about you guys? <laughs> There's been enough. I've lost like four, three people in four months. So, it's just, it's just enough is enough, right? So again, here's our flip. We're flipping to the right. So now that is glued down on the back. So now I can actually um, glue this closed because I didn't really have anything for the glue to adhere to um, before. So we're gonna go ahead and, and glue this shut now. Oh, that's a lot of glue, Renee. That's all right, we'll make it work. Ooh, oozing glue, <laughs> need a paper towel. 
we go. So anyway, it's been a rainy day here in the Northwest. I live in Washington State, so the fall has definitely set in. So, okay, so now we've got our construction done. And so now I want to, because I'm not going to be doing any, I'm not doing any uh, top uh, pockets. We're just doing side pockets. So I'm thinking I want a thumb notch here. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Well, I could have done that when I was, before I glued it, but that's all right. We can make it work. So just kind of, kind of, I spy and see if I can estimate where that should go. There we go. I just like to see that indicator that there's actually a pocket or tuck spot there. So just inking that up a little bit. There we go. So let's think about what we want to do here. I almost want to put like a, a little, um, some paper or something, maybe a little paper stack, some coffee dyed paper. I don't really want to write on this surface. It's a little bit too dark for my liking. So let me grab um, some coffee dyed paper. I moved it so it's not right here. Just a second. So this is coffee dyed paper that I just uh, that I just dyed I think last weekend. Um, so I think we'll use it. I don't want a lot, but I just thought maybe just even one one piece right here just to create some writing space, and I can do maybe a little stamping on it or something just to make it a little more interesting. I don't necessarily I don't like writing on dark surfaces like this. It's not. It's not appealing to me at all. So, and again, this journal is going to be mine. Uh, it's my I am grateful journal. So I want it to be something that's going to be, that's going to be enjoyable, you know? So there we go. I kind of like that dark edge of the other part. I should have marked this one, this part too. Goodness gracious. There we go. I'm just going to do that off, off camera here out of your view. My desk is um, somewhat of a mess, which is unusual. I don't, I don't usually construct well when things are kind of everywhere. How did that get uneven? Lordy, lordy. But it is not. So let's see if we can tee that up a little bit. Something's, something's not right here. See if that's better. There, that's better. Okay, let's go ahead and ink this as well. I really want to get to my tabs. <laughs> I've been trying to do this video and it's just not, it hasn't been working very well. So hopefully this one will go swimmingly. And if we get to the tabs in this video, we do. And if we don't, I'll do another one. So not a big deal to sweat it so I'm going to go ahead and put this here and just as a simple writing space so let's go ahead and glue that down this is on 60 pound coffee dyed paper so I'm going to go ahead and use my art glitter glue because it holds up really well um, on this paper it doesn't like make it buckle and get all wet and all the way through like it does on a thinner paper so I like the coffee dyeing on the heavier paper. I really like that dark frame around that. That's going to be really, really cool. So in case I didn't tell you, the idea of this journal, it's going to be held in with elastic because I want to be able to take all the signatures out when I, come, when I fill it and use the cover and everything again. That's kind of the thought process there. So I like that. I'm going to reach behind me and see if I can find a stamp really quick that uh, will go with this. Um, that will go with this. So hold on. <laughs> oh, maybe a little bicycle. That would be kind of fun. Let's put a bicycle on here. Maybe one of these old ones here. Yeah. I need a stamp block here. Hopefully I've got one that will... This one, this one will be good enough, I think. We can get it on there. It's an old-fashioned bicycle. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and 
use the archival ink and vin whoops and vintage photo here and I'm just gonna put it over here and whoop I get it going the right direction though <laughs> this is how it's been going guys things that I I mean I should be able to know how to do this stuff it's just like where is my head sorry I'm off camera I will fix that there we go I like that just a little bit of de decoration. I'm cool with this. I might come and do something else on this page. Um, we'll see. So we've got our flip, and then we're gonna do something with the front here. Thought I would do pockets on here with the print that's on the back. So I've got this one in pockets. So I thought we could go ahead and do that. So let me grab my, my pile of all the bits here. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go with this little little pocket we're gonna have to trim it up a little bit but that's okay um, oh we, we want to go this way goodness gracious I almost put it on the wrong one I want it to kind of coordinate was the idea here so I'm just gonna cut a sliver of this off perfect nope a little bit more better so we're going to go ahead and ink this and it, when I'm writing in my own journal I like to have a lot of hidden hidden journaling spots so this is going to be really this is going to be fun and I think it goes with this paper really nice so we're going to go ahead and glue this on so we're going to glue here here and here Use my little art glitter glue here. I was um, just I did another video today and it ended up going long, so I'm ending. I'm going to do a voiceover because it's just anything over an hour to me is just too much. So I will be doing a voiceover on that. And that way I can speed it up some and have it not be so so terribly long. Journal's moving right along though. There we go. So we've got a pocket there, and then I'll probably do like a hidden paper clip. Oh, you know what? I could do a tuck up there with one of the little embellishments. So let me find the other pieces of that of the kit that have the, like the little. Actually, I had it out here just a minute ago, so maybe it's still here. <laughs> maybe it's still here. I don't know. It's, like I said, guys, if you could see my desk, which is so uncharacteristically messy, you would you would laugh. This right here. I want this right here. So we're going to make this into a tuck. I was going to do it on another project, and I, I just it, I ran out of room. I just didn't have room on the surface for it. But I really wanted to use these little pre-designed pre eph ephemera bits to create little tuck spots, too rather than just to decorate. So that will be really nice up here. I think actually going up a bit over the edge and then it can be it can be a tuck here. So we'll glue it on on these sides. So yeah, that's going to be tricky. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> We're going to glue right to here. Hopefully that's right. And here see what we got going on here we can do it right pick that up and see where if we're good on the top yep um, it's a little bit high and then we can kind of ink the back so that it's not so so terribly loud white there we go yeah that works I like that so that will be a little tuck spot here that can just, things can just slide in there. And I'll, I'll probably add something too to that little pocket. So there we've got that. We've got our tuck, we've got our writing space. So really simple little ephemera piece. And then when it goes in the journal, it's going to go, I guess it's gonna to need to clip in or it can go over the page. 
Ooh, I didn't think about that. Let's bring a signature over and take a peek. It's so funny how that happens, right? That when you're creating, you don't always think about all the things it can do. Now, I wouldn't put it on this page because it's the same exact print. Oh, actually, if it went like this, though, and then it could paper clip on, that would be pretty. And then it would open this way to be written on. And then it would open it this way to be written on. So it could be completely removable. I like that. We're going to do that. So we are done with this. Again, super simple. Um, got lots of, you know, tuck spaces. And originally, I guess the idea was it would be glued down to a page because it would have a third tuck. But yeah. <laughs> That's what we've got going on there. So let's try and do some, do some dangles. Hopefully this will go better. I hope you guys have, I mean, I don't hope you've experienced this kind of ridiculousness, but at the same time, it's kind of good to not be alone um, in those days where things just are not going well. So um, these are alcohol, alcohol ink prints that I did. And what I wanna do is I want to go ahead and make some circle tabs and I'm going to back them with this um, just a recycled piece of cardboard it was in a food box of some kind so I'm going to go ahead and do um, I'm going to cut a bunch of circles because I can always do some of these later and oh why isn't it cutting through the I wonder if it doesn't like that paper this is Yupo paper let's see if we can if it would help to have a piece of paper here. Sometimes that helps. Mm, that's not going to work. Wow. It does not want to cut the Yupo. Hmm. Does the little one work? works a little bit better so maybe I'm just not pushing hard enough so or maybe I just need to go like this so I can get the full force of my weight there we go that will work okay so we've got one get that out of the way and then we're gonna do I'm gonna try to do four uh, four tabs all together so I need four of these to do to do Two of this color, I need four circles. So, because we're gonna, um, well, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that one's the bad one that I already tried to cut. Let me try that again. That's three. And one more. And then we'll do um, some with the other paper, too. I was thinking that this um, this paper would be kind of cool so let's try it see what we think oh I like that yeah and then another and another and we need one more so the idea is these are going to go on the on the page as a as a tab so with a probably with an I think think I want to put an eyelet on them so that they can be uh, so they can have a dangle not really really feeling very good about this one it's kind of dark and black and yucky so I think we'll do we'll do this I don't really like the orange either though because I don't like orange for Halloween but let's just do it let's let's do it. I'm just going to do one of these though. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So now I'm going to cut. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need 10 of these because I want these. These ones might be strong enough by themselves. These ones will be strong enough by themselves. And these, so that one and that one. And I'm wondering about these. I think these are actually thick enough to not need the cardboard. Let's not do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and ink these up to start with, and then we can go from there and see what, I haven't practiced this, so I have no idea what I'm doing. 
I saw a video of somebody that did this. I think it was um, Martina over at Teal and Tattered. Um, she actually did the creating of the mixed media paper also um, using watercolors and acrylic paints and a, a few different ways she did that, but I wasn't feeling that tonight. So we're just gonna use, these are just um, prints, not prints, they're projects that I've done before that are just kind of sitting around. So let's see if we can ink up this alcohol ink paper. I don't know how well that inks up. And then we're going to put an, I think we're going to put an eyelet on them. That's the thought, because then you'd have the option for a dangle. Um, these aren't really inking very well. I don't know if you can even really see that. Oh, that one's torn. We need to do a different one there. That's probably one I tried to punch before. Um, about here. All right, guys, Let's see if we can get one here. Is that better? Uh, yeah, we got it. That was chance, <laughs> pure chance. Got to trim that up, though. It's not, it, the cut, the punch doesn't like the alcohol ink paper, the Yupo paper. We can trim, we can trim that up a little bit as we go. I'm not thinking that, I'm thinking that ink is not really showing, so we're just going to move on. So what I'm going to do is I we need to decide on a couple of pages we want these on. So the signatures have not been obviously put in. Um, they're going to be held in with elastic binding. So I thought it would be fun to just choose a couple pages for these to go on like so. And then it would go on there as a tab. And then we could put a little eyelet on it as well. So I think we'll put one there. Does that look good? So we're going to just put glue on half of this and I want those grains to go up and down. So um, let me think about this. No, I think you glue this on first. So half of it down and then half of it on top. I haven't done this before. Doing all kinds of new things, guys. All kinds of new things. I think we need a little bit more glue. I don't want too much of it hanging over because it is just paper and I don't know how well it's going to hold up. So let's do it about there. I'm going to open that so we don't get any. There we go. I like that. And then we're going to glue the other one. We can put glue on the whole thing to put it. Um, I guess we could have done that on the other one too. We just have to act quickly because Art Glitter Glue is uh, pretty fast drying. So I'm going to put this one again. I'm going to put the green going up and down. That's what makes sense here, like so. And there's one tab. Sorry, I'm completely off screen, guys. I always know that I'm, I'm in a kind of a rough spot when I do that, when I kind of pull things to myself. Um, I think it's reflecting <laughs> kind of my heart, my heart's position right now. So let's see if we want to put one of the other ones on here in this this signature. Um, these green ones are kind of weird. I guess they could go on a page that has the this. It's just not the it's not the same color. I think it needs to just go on a plain page like this. So this one, I think I'm going to put, um, that one's up there. So maybe we'll put this one at the top. So again, we're going to glue half of it. Or a little bit more than half. Again, don't want too much of it hanging over because it'll, it'll, it's going to, it's going to take some wear and tear in the journal. So there we go. Can you guys see that? I hope. So out of sorts, okay. <laughs> and then we're gonna put glue on this one as well. I really wanna play with these and really get, get uh, creative, but tonight's not the night for that. Not the night for that. 
There we go. I like that. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. And then we can put little dangles on, on these two. So let's see, that's two in that one. So let's get a grab another signature. I'm kind of working in these two, so hopefully I won't, I won't mess up my stuff too bad. I'm working on just putting some ephemera in here, kind of off camera. I think one would be really pretty here on this on this page. So what do we think about, oh yeah, the orange, that would be pretty. So again, we're gonna do half of it. I hope that my eye, my um, crocodile will, um, will punch through these. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put that there, turn that. And we're gonna put the, that was an orange one, right? <laughs> Maybe I need to move the camera. Hang on guys, let me move that forward. Maybe I just didn't have it positioned right. There we go. So, uh, there we go. Put that one on there too. And there we go. I like it. It's a great way to make tabs. Very unique. So now the, the test will be if it will actually... Um, Oh, we should have put the orange one on this one. If it will actually, um, I'll be able to put the eyelets on. I don't know if that's gonna work. I think I wanna kinda go back here. This one would probably be pretty on here. How many, oh yeah, we still have two more over there. Okay, yeah, let's do this. So we had that one kind of here, so we'll go up higher on this one. Hope you guys don't mind if I just come and do do this, even though I'm not um, thinking very clearly. <laughs> but as I've mentioned before, you know, it's you know we don't have to wait till we're all together, you know, to do things, to do creative things, to share, to engage. We can do all those things even if we're a little bit off center, you know. At least that's what I think. So there we go, that's all nicely lined up. Let's go ahead and ink that really quick. Yeah, I like that. So that's two in that signature, right? Did we get two? Yep, we got two. So let's go to the third signature. This journal does have three. So that one already has two. Oh, that one got off. It's not glued, it's not staying. I don't know, it's uh, Yupal paper, so I don't know if it's because it's Yupal paper that's not wanting to, to stick. We'll have to revisit that. So here we've got this one, which I think would be, oh, this would be really cool here. Oh, yes. Let's put this on the bird page. I'm wondering if we should try some art glitter glue. Let me try, I mean some Fabri-Tac, rather, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try some Fabri-Tac on this one and see if it holds better. This one's got a little cut in it. We must have tried to punch that one. And it didn't really work that great. So I'm gonna put it kind of down here like that. I love my little bear page. It'd be so cool to write in, I can't wait. And, oh, this one's completely cut. Lordy, lordy. What the hey? Let's see if we can cut this one that we tried to cut before. I'm gonna see if I can line it up. So I'm running out of space here on this. Let's give it a try, okay. Maybe if I put it down. It just doesn't wanna do it in my hands for some reason. There we go. That'll be better than one that's got a cut in it. <laughs> so there we go. Let's put this one on the back. Hopefully this Fabri-Tac will work a little bit better, like so. And then we're gonna put that on there. It seems to be working a little bit better, I think. 
let's let that sit and I'm going to go ahead and pull the one that we did first I think it's oh we still had one more whoops we still have our other wood grain one. Oh, this is off this is off so we've got this wood grain one to put in so that this two for each signature I think is is perfect so maybe we'll go back here on one of these pages um, yeah I think we'll just go on this one and we'll go kind of up here because that one is um, down it towards the bottom there we go I honestly think guys I wonder if if it's just because I don't normally create at night or I keep saying that but then I find myself creating at night it's just not my normal time and I wonder if that's why I get a little bit off. Um, I'm always better early in the day. I'm a morning person. And uh, that might be part of my problem. Especially with an emotional day. Let's see if we can line this up a little bit better. It's looking a little rough. Okay. So let's go back to one of the other signatures to continue working. See if we can get these eyelets to punch. This is risky because I don't know how the um, crocodile is going to treat that. But I want to at least get the eyelets in and if we um, have to come back to it to add dangles we will because I don't want to keep you guys too long. We'll see how it goes though. So I've got my eyelets here. And I'm thinking we just want to do the little one. So these are the 1 8 inch size. Fingers are sticky. So I'm going to bring this over. Let's see if we can punch. It might have been easier to do this outside of the journal. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, let's try this. We can do it, right? Let's back this up to our punch setting. The 1 8 and I want to kind of have a dangle go down. Oops, got to get in the right spot here. Down kind of towards this corner here. So it's kind of hanging, it's towards the bottom of the tab, but it's um, hanging on to the outside. So, oh, that worked out fine. Yeah. So let's, let's try our luck and see if we can get an eyelet set here. This should be all right. It's going to be funky on one side, but that's okay. Oops, come on, Renee. Put it in the hole. There we go. So, let's see if we can get this in here. I should have done this before I put it in the journal. There we go. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. That is going to be adorable. Let's see if we can find at least a charm for that one. So I've got all my stuff out here. So I need a charm that would go there, that would be fitting with the page and the theme. So these are kind of the gold pieces, which I'm not sure that I really want. That one would be kind of nice. This is, a lot of this is from old jewelry. Oh, this is nice. Does it actually have, oh, it does. Oh, I like that. Mm, I think I'm gonna do that one. So I think I'm gonna use a, um, depending on a jump ring or a bulb, bulb pin. I'm not sure, let's see. The bulb pins tend to work better, I think. Um, personally but I can always change it out that's the cool part this is just old jewelry somebody gave me a bunch of old stuff and, oh I love that and it looks okay on the other side not too bad so there we go we're gonna just clip that on there and there we go I love it I love it. Look at that. Sweet. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and see if we can get our eyelets in into on or get the eyelets in on a couple of these and see what we what we want to do here as far as other other little um, beads and charms. So let's get our crocodile back over here. I might um, fast forward or cut this out and come back to you when um, I'm ready to put some more dangles on. Uh, I think this one I want to have go, well, it needs to kind of go down because otherwise it's not going to hang right, in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That was tough. And then we're going to get our eyelet. So after this, I'll, I'll speed it up and I'll get all these set and then I'll come back to you. There we go. It would have really been helpful to do this outside of the journal. Just an FYI. There we go. Love that. Okay, let's do one more charm together here and then I'll speed up. Oh, I love that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're going to want something a little bit more low profile, I think, here, though. That's, can't go big on everything. So let me see what I've got here. That's the gold stuff. And this is the silverish stuff over here. Um, trying to keep it a little... Oh, this is lovely. Mm-hmm. I like that. What do you think of that, guys? Again, just an old piece of jewelry. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Um, I don't mind if the, the bulb pins are a different color than the, um, than the metal on the charm. It's not a big deal. So if you don't care, I don't care. But I think this green will be really pretty. So let's get that on there. So, there we go. I love that. It's going to be beautiful. Look at that. I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and speed up, get all these eyelets on, and then maybe we'll come back and put some of the charms on. Okay, so I think we've got all of our eyelets set. So I'm trying to think about what other kinds of variety we can add to this. We could add um, one of these little gems, but I'm thinking I want to try jump rings as well. So let me find my tools here and we're going to just fuss along with this. Again, I'm not the expert. Um, I don't do fiddly things very well. Um, so we're going to just do this together and hope it Turns out okay, <laughs> so I just need to get to my other box that has my jump rings in it. I've got a mess going on here on the table, so I want um, a big one. Probably want a couple of big ones, so let's start with that. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. When you open these, you do. I do know this. You want to open it towards you, not out. So like so. We're going to put this jump ring on. And then we're going to put this charm on. Like so. And then we're going to close it. Like so. Oh, I guess I needed to... I guess we'll open the other one up. Oh, I like that. Where do we want this one to go, though? I think right here would be good. So we're going to open this other one up. I should probably left that one other one open, but it's okay. So we're just going to put that jump ring in here. I put it enough, close enough to the edge that we should be able to do this without too much difficulty. Hopefully. There we go. So hopefully you guys can see that. I'm glad I kind of get it close to my body to make it work. There we go. Yep, there we go. I like that. I like it with the jump ring too. So that's two variations there. So we got a little charm there. Let's get one on here on the wood grained one. Let's see what we've got here. That might go. 
And I'm not being too particular about what I choose because this is just a fun journal for me. So I'm not seeing anything in there. I don't have a whole lot of kind of charms that, oh, this one would be nice. This one's got a little, a little, um, one of those clasp things on it. I wonder if we can get that on there. Probably not. Um, I think we'll take the clasp off of this one. I really like that heart, so let's just do that. Open that up and take that off. I'll save that for something else. And then we're gonna get another jump ring. I like the big ones. Put that on there, and then... I think my problem is, is that I, I'm opening up the wrong one. up having to do it twice but again I am not the expert I haven't watched a lot of tutorials on this either so I would probably do well to do that but let's see if I can find the opening here there we go I'll go ahead and get that in there too so I've got that wide enough open you have to open it a little bit wider to get it through that around that barrier let's see if we can go this way there we go. Working on a page is quite challenging. There we go, we got it on there. Give it a little pinch, and there we've got a little dangle there. Yeah, I like it. Look at that prettiness. Mm hmm. I love a little bit of bling. I'm not a super blingy person, but I do like a little bit of it. So let's see what we can put on here. What else we've got that would work. Um, could go with something gold here. That wouldn't be a bad thing. See if we can find something that would work. Except we've got that copper looking, or that brushed um, color of that. Um, the other thing, oh, this would be probably not on that one. Or that one. Let's go ahead and use one of another one of these. And then I've got, oh, I know what we can use. We've got these little ones up here that I think would be good. So let's just go with that. So I'm gonna put this one on here. So I need a couple of more jump rings. And we're almost done. A little bit of a rough one, but I hope that you guys are okay with um, with that. Um, oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> like that, right? What am I missing, guys? I don't, I don't think I'm missing anything. I think this is just the way it goes. <laughs> I'm go ahead and close that. I need to watch some more, some more tutorials on how to work with this stuff. It's not my forte. Let's get that open. Stick it on here. Close her up. There we go. The opening and closing goes okay. <laughs> I love these little diamond things though. They make me they make me very happy. They remind me of being uh, precious and cared for and loved and all of that stuff so I think this one will be good here I don't know if I like that one hold on hold on what, do we, what else do we have here Ooh, that one's pretty okay Renee you gotta decide don't have all day I don't have a lot of ones that already have a little thing on them to make them easy to hang, so it makes it a little bit challenging um, today for this. So I think we're just going to go with one of these. It'll be fine. I'm still going to use the, the bronze colored uh, jump rings though. Again, I don't care that they're different. In another lifetime, I would have 
matter. That would have mattered to me, but it doesn't now. So we're just going to feed that through there. And then this on, close it. There we go. I think we've got plenty of bead of um, jewelry here in this journal. I will be doing some ta some tassels and probably uh, spine jewelry on this. Oh. Hold on. There we go. It's late. I need to go to bed. There we go. Okie dokie. So we are done. And I'm just going to hold these up so you can see all the dangles all in one place in our journal that's not yet in our journal <laughs> because this is going to be attached with elastic. But there are all of our dangles and they're going to be absolutely gorgeous. This is just hanging out because I'm working on it. But we've got enough jewelry there to satisfy me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for your patience as I, again, you know, some days are just like that and, and creating is rough and translating that creating is, is a little rocky. So thank you for being here. Take care. Bye-bye.